Physical Optics Polarization, Diffraction, and Interference Polarization is a process by which the direction of vibration for rays of light is restricted. Since light waves are transverse, the vibrations are at right angles to the direction of propagation. Now, light waves are transverse, so they vibrate in this drawing up and down, and that's perpendicular to the direction of propagation. So, as uh, if you look at a light source, light sources have many different uh, light waves coming, uh, coming in all different types of directions. And their vibrations are also in different directions. So when we talk about polarization, here we see a light source uh, with uh, light rays in every, you know, vibrating in many different directions. When we talk about polarization, we talk about using a, a material to block out all other directions of light except for one. So, for example, here we have a crystal, a crystal section. Okay? So crystals are formed, uh, they have different axes. Okay? They have different crystal axis structures. So because of, its, because of the uh, arrangement of the molecules in a crystal, they only allow certain directions of vibration to pass through. So for example, uh, with this crystal section, let's assume that it only allows light vibrating in the horizontal direction. That means this crystal section will polarize or block out all other directions of vibration. And then therefore, the, the light wave has been polarized, as we call it. Now an example of polarization is 3D glasses in a movie theater. Each of the two lenses has a different polarization pattern. And because of the different polarization pattern, you can create two different images for each different eye, for each eye. That's what creates the 3D effect. Okay, that's an example of polarization. Now, diffraction. Diffraction is the bending of waves around obstacles. When light diffracts through a small slit, it creates parallel bands of light. If you look at this image here, you have a light source. This light source shines at a barrier and there's an opening at the barrier. Okay, this is a slit. Now, as light shines through the slit, it bends around the barrier, thus creating a pattern of parallel bands of light. Now, if we look at these parallel bands of light, we have light, we have uh, dark bands, and then we have light bands. Okay, they alternate between light and dark, light and dark. Now, the bright bands, or the fringes, which we call them, are examples of constructive interference. That's where the two light waves meet and combine their amplitudes. And then we also have dark fringes, or dark bands. These dark bands are examples of constructive interference, or de I'm sorry, destructive interference. Destructive interference is when, again, you have uh, waves of light and their amplitudes cancel each other out, thus resulting in a dark band. Now, on the next slide, now we have what we call the uh, three equations that we need to know. So, let's again draw an example of, of diffraction. Okay, so with the diffraction pattern, we have, we have two slits and we have a light source. Now, x equals wavelength times L divided by D. X is the distance between fringes. So as it shines, as light shines through this, uh, through this slit, we cr it creates a pattern of light, of dark and, and light patterns. Fringes. So X is the distance between the fringes. X, uh, uh, the symbol is the distance, or, or the wavelength, the length of the wavelength of light. L is the distance between slits and the fringe, so this would be this distance here, L. And D is the distance between the slits. So you can have multiple slits. All right, the next equation. D sine theta equals M times the wavelength. M is the order of the fringe. Okay, so we have many different fringes. The central fringe, okay, we call this the central maximum. So the central maximum is the brightest portion. It's the very center 
of this uh, interference pattern. And that's the first, first band of light. And then every successive band is what we call the next order fringe. So then we have the first order, second order, etc., etc. So this equation corresponds with constructive interference. Whereas this equation corresponds with dis destructive interference. Okay, so destructive means the dark bands, and this means the light bands. Now, d sine theta equals m times uh, lambda, which is the wavelength. So theta, theta in this example, so let me draw this over here. Theta is the, the angle between the central maximum and the slit. So a central maximum again is that is that dark is that uh, light band here, the bright band right in the center. Okay. So theta is literally the angle that forms between the slits. So that would be theta. So using this equation, we can solve for a number of variables, a number of um, the different variables in this diffraction interference pattern.